So Figma just announced new easing curve animations in their design tool. So in this video, we're gonna see how you can use it in your designs to make it look better. All right, so right here in front of me, I have a mobile uh, UI that I put together uh, through design course that I teach. You can check that out in the link below. So now let's check out what those new easing curve animations actually do. So right here, I have a little login page um, and then I have a bunch of tutorial cards that I wanted to pop up uh, if the user taps this question mark button right here. So of course, like anything else in prototyping, make sure you head on over to the prototyping tab up here. And once you're there, from the desired object or button, which in our case is this question mark button right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag a connection to this tutorial card over here. And what we wanna do is go ahead and do on tap, which is by default what's selected. And instead of navigate to, we're gonna go ahead and actually change this to open overlay. So what this does is that it will go ahead and actually open this tutorial card on top of the login page, as opposed to navigating to it. And then I've gone ahead and selected these two options. So close when clicking outside um, so that if the user clicks outside, anywhere outside of this, it will go ahead and actually close that overlay. And then also I've added a background behind overlay of 50% uh, opacity, just so that the tutorial card and the background here don't blend in. Now for the animation part over here, we wanna go ahead and select move in. And then instead of choosing from right to left, we're gonna go ahead and choose bottom to top. And as you can see, it will just go ahead and present that. All right, so now instead of the linear option, we had these three options before, but now as you can see, we have three new options, which is ease in back, ease out back, and ease in and out back. And I'll go ahead and quickly show you what the differences are. So if you do ease in back, it will go ahead and present that new card. But before doing so, it will go ahead and bounce a little bit as you can see over here. Uh, I'll go ahead and slow the animation down so you can just see it more clearly. As you can see on the start of the animation over here, it will go ahead and do a spring-like animation and then it will go ahead and be presented. And similarly, if you do ease out back, it will go ahead and do it when it's actually closing the animation or ending the animation as you can see over here. The second card comes in and has a little bounce effect or spring-like effect um, over here. And you can of course choose ease in and out back, which will go ahead and do both of them at the same time. So in our case, I think what makes sense is to do ease out back uh, so that once the tutorial card pops in, we'll go ahead and just ease out um, using this little spring-like animation. But we're gonna go ahead and knock this down to maybe around 600 milliseconds, uh, just so that it's more natural we can even do 700. Uh, so now if I go ahead and present it, if I go ahead and click the tutorial button over here, it will go ahead and present that with a beautiful, uh, more natural looking animation as opposed to just doing ease in. Now, if you were to just do ease out, I'll go ahead and show you what the difference would be. As you can see, it will just come up here, but there's no spring-like animation. To me, I think the ease out back option looks a lot better. And even when I'm developing my own apps, I prefer this option over the ease out option as well, just because it's a lot cleaner and uh, just makes more sense. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use those new um, easing curve animations in Figma. All right, thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future UI UX videos. Also, if you're interested in learning how to design full complete mockups for both mobile and web, I've made a six hour complete design course with Figma and you can check that out in the link below. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video here at Clever Studio.